Now that we've finished configuring Microsoft Projects Tools Options dialog box, let's look at the techniques that we'll use to create a new project in Clarity for opening in Microsoft Project. There are four approaches that can be used. The first approach is to create a new project from scratch. And for what that means is that you will create some general defining information in Clarity and then open up a blank project, a project that has no tasks, has no work breakdown structure, dependencies in it. And in Microsoft Project, you will then define the tasks that are required to com be completed to produce the deliverables that this project will be uh, will complete. The second uh, is approach is to create a project from a template. That's a best practice and the template will be based on methodologies or other experience that's been accumulated in your organization. That's the approach that we are going to focus on in this course. The last two approaches are to create a new project from one or more previously completed projects or to convert a clarity idea into a project. Those subjects will be covered in a later mentoring module. To create a new project from, temp from a template brings across into Microsoft Project some of the best practices that your organization um, has come to know. What, what works, what um, probably a methodology that is broken out into a basic work breakdown structure that may have dependencies already associated with the tasks and even possibly roles assigned to the tasks with initial estimates of work effort. Here we're going to use a template that is based on an application development project and the dependencies have been previously defined, but no roles or resources have been associated with it. Note that some project level information or attributes cannot be copied from a template. Start and finish dates, baseline information of course, financial properties, calendars aren't, any discussions or action items that are associated with that project. After we've entered some defining information in Clarity, we'll also enter some scheduling information about the particular project as we know it today, whether the pro you know, what the start and finish date for the project are, and we'll open the project for time entry. Let's now go into Clarity and see what steps actually need to be taken to accomplish what we've just discussed. Here's Clarity's overview page and you can see here in the center in the My Projects portlet that there are two buttons. New, this is the first option that I mentioned when we were looking at the slide here a moment ago, and New from Template. We're going to click on New from Template and this displays for us the templates that we have loaded in our training database one of which is the MSP project template. I'm going to click on the radio button here and now click on next. This takes me to the create project screen where I can enter some descriptive information, high level descriptive information about the project. I'm going to call this project the MSP project 100. I'm going to use that as the project ID also. There's a table here in the second module that details each of these fields in much more detail than I'm going to cover here, but let me um, point out that this is the screen on which you'll need to note where each of these small icons to the left of the field indicate which fields are required to be entered or a value submitted. Notice description is not a required field, so I'm going to pass that for a moment. The project start date we're going to set to be the 14th of July, and the project finish date is roughly 
the end of the year, December 31st. We're going to keep the planned cost dates aligned with the investment dates. We're not going to choose a stage at this point or a goal. We're going to leave the project priority at, at the value that it is set at. The progress of the project has been not started. We're just setting it up. But the project status is approved. Notice here at the bottom there are two other portlets one labeled organization breakdown structures. You'll need to work with your Clarity Application Administrator to understand what values you need to enter here. The last portlet at the bottom allows us to scale any work effort estimates or budget values that have been entered and I know that there are no work effort estimates or budgets that have been associated with this project. We're going to convert resources to roles. We're going to turn that off because there are no, um, I, from my familiarity with the template, there are no roles or resources currently assigned. We'll be doing that here in the next chapter. So I'm now going to submit this project to the Clarity database. As it saves this information, Now I can go in to the portfolio management section of my of Clarity and click on the projects link and find project 100. I'm now going to click on project 100 and see that the information that I had set up previously has now been transferred to the project properties main general page. I can make any editing changes that I need, need to make here and I can subsequently come back and make changes as I know more information like entering a description or setting a goal. We're next going to click on the schedule link underneath general. The schedule link conveys the start date that I set on the previous page and some of the other parameters that were set up. Currently the project progress uh, is not, has been set to not started and we'll start that a little bit later. We want to make sure though that this project in the tracking portlet here has been set for time entry by turning this check mark on and that the tracking mode has been set to clarity. In this course we're going to leave the charge code blank and we're also going to leave the default staff OBS unit blank. At this point we can now open our project schedule into Clarity by clicking on the Go button in the, um, towards the top of this page and that will then display our project in Microsoft Project. But before we do that, I want to go back to our slides and here there is an opportunity for you to do an exercise. So I'd like to ask you to pause the course right now, go into your training manual and do the exercise that is exercise two. Now that you have completed exercise two, follow along with me as I complete exercise two and compare my results with what you entered. Let's toggle over to Clarity and the first step that we're going to perform here is to click on, from the overview page, click on New from Template. Here on the Select Project Template page, we're going to select the MSP project template and then click on the next button. This takes us to the create project screen where we are going to enter MSP project 100 and we're going to copy that name as the project's ID. We're going to leave the description field open for now. Here in the manager field you will want to use the browse button 
and look at the list of resources that are available and select a resource that is either your name or another resource that will be the project manager on this project. I'm going to leave my name in there for this walkthrough. We'll leave the project default layout setting. We're going to set the start date of our project to be July 14th and we're going to set the finish date of our project to be for now December 31st. I'm going to leave the check mark in the set planned costs cost dates field checked. I'm going to leave stage open. We're going to leave goal open. I'm going to leave priority with the value that it is set at. We're going to set progress to be not started and we're going to set the status to be approved. Down below here we're going to leave the training OBS setting as it is set and we're going to make no changes here in the copy template project options portlet. Now I'm going to click on the save button and the save button will now save the information that I've entered for this project into the Clarity database and now display for me the project properties main general page for this project. Take a moment now to confirm that the information that you entered is displayed here. Name, ID, the manager that you selected, in this case it's my name. Over here the information that we entered was the approved status. This is an active project and the organizational breakdown structure that we chose in the create project page. I'm now going to go to the schedule link here under properties and, and, and verify that the start and finish dates are the dates that I entered and that the one step that I'm going to make here on the schedule page that was not available to me in the create project page is that I want to ensure that the tracking portlet the time entry box has been checked and I have selected clarity as the track mode. I'm going to leave the default staffing OBS unit blank and now I'm going to submit this data to clarity submitting it takes me back to the projects page or the projects list page. 